Hey there, thank you for continuing supporting my videos and coming back to my channel. But you know what else needs your support? The Black Lives Matters movement. In the description below, you'll find links to donation pages, petition pages, and ways to support black owned businesses. Racism is still very much an issue, even if the topic is no longer trending. Thank you so much, and now back to your normal video. The title of this video should have really been called Lockdown Made Me Do It. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, down to the last page. Now, today's video will be about my spring 2020 book haul. Um, these are all the books that I'd purchased from about end of March to about the end of May, and I'll be dividing them into three categories. There'll be everything that I bought on Audible, everything that I bought as an ebook, and then all the physical books that I bought at the end. Now, starting off with uh, the Audible purchases, one of the first books I purchased on Audible for the spring season were Build a Brand in 30 Days by Simon Middleton. Convenient. Um, the reason why I purchased this book was that it was a free Audible listen um, on Audible. And especially at the time when I was thinking of venturing into booktube, you know, YouTube community, um, I wanted to look at sort of different ways of um, how to build my brand. Um, the I'm halfway through, if you listen to this, there's about 25 chapters. Um, you don't have to uh, complete all the exercises within the 30 days. It asks you to do it over, say, two to three months. But there were some really good tips I remember picking up, which I really liked. And it was just an interesting listen. Um, I listened to this in conjunction with another audio book that I bought, which was How to Be a Productivity Ninja, Worry Less, Achieve More, and Love What You Do. Now, I absolutely love listening to Productivity Ninja. Um, around April time, once we got into lockdown and we were working from home, I used to listen to it while I went for my morning walks. Um, it was quite inspiring, some of the small exercises they got you to do and stuff you had to think about. So I enjoyed, very, very much enjoyed this. And in general, I do enjoy listening and reading non-fiction books. I always enjoy this sort of content in the non-fiction sphere. So it was an enjoyable listen. Now, next we have all the books on ebook and through Kindle. It's a lot. So uh, let's just say my um, Kindle is pretty stacked after this. So the first one that came to my attention and the first book that I bought on Kindle was The Summer of Impossible Things by Rowan Coleman. Um, I remember reading the tagline for this saying, if you could change the past, would you? And our main character, Luna, she's in Brooklyn, New York, settling a family estate. In a miraculous way, she finds herself back in the summer of 1977, faced with a younger version of her mother. We do find out in the blurb that her mother is no longer alive in the present, and then Luna's faced with a decision where she has the ability to rewrite the past, but in doing so, she might end up sacrificing herself. I absolutely love uh, time traveling tropes in stories and fiction in general, and this sounded so interesting, so I can't wait to read it. The next one was My Sister's Bones by Noella Elwood. Again, the tagline for this was, if you can't trust your sister, who can you trust? It was described um, on Amazon as um, a haunting psychological thriller. I'm trying to get back into reading a little bit more thrillers. So that's one of the reasons why I picked this book up. It just sounded interesting. And I just want to see what the, considering what the concept was about, see where it takes me. The next book I purchased was Our Kind of Cruelty by Araminta Hall. Um, again, this is about a couple um, and it's described as um, love, obsession and danger. The couple have a very unhealthy, obsessive love type of relationship and they like to play games. Um, and um, the concept in itself where you've got a gamey gone girl vibes. So you've got these two people in a relationship who uh, like to play certain games and so it's quite interesting to see where this goes. So my next purchase is Little Black Book, a toolkit for working women, written by Otega Uwagba. Now, this is seen as the modern day essential career handbook for creative working women. At a time of publishing, which was about 2017, um, Otega was already on Forbes European 30 under 30. So this woman definitely knows what she's talking about. And again, I love nonfiction books such as this, and I can't wait to get into it. The next book on my list is uh, Sweet Revenge by Jane Fallon. I think I already have another Jane Fallon book on my bookshelf. And the concept of this was, um, this was described as a dark comedy. So that's what kind of got me intrigued into checking the book out a bit more and purchasing it. This was, um, the general concept of this story was, uh, girl meets boy, girl 
Sakura like gives up her dreams and her careers for boys dreams and careers boy becomes big but boy ends up having an affair cheating on girl and girl wants revenge that sort of I would say what I got from the blurb and it's um I do want to see how it goes I mean the thing it was it got some really good reviews online and yeah I've never had I don't think I've read I've got a lot of um a lot of the contemporary fiction adult fiction I have I don't think I have anything revenge related so I'll be really interested to see where this goes the next book I have, the next book I downloaded is How to Marry Your Husband by Jacqueline Rohan. Uh, so again, this is another case, another story of the female main character uh, has been married to her husband for 10 plus years and she finds him kissing another woman and as her own form of revenge, it, she wants to divorce her husband. However, she does find out that their marriage in the first place was illegal so they're technically not even married so she has to find a way to marry her husband legitimately first then to um, divorce him so it has a lot it sounds like it's got a lot of chaotic energy in this story and it does sound like, like a lot of fun it's been described as a romantic comedy um i did also find out that the author jacqueline rowan unfortunately this was her first novel passed away before the novel actually got published so in light of all of that um i am looking even more forward to see the work that she obviously put her, you know effort into as her lasting legacy so the next purchase i have already read slay in your lane the black girl's bible by elizabeth yubi benene and yomi adigoke so these two best friends had written this amazing book about um navigating life for the british black female and it's absolutely fantastic i literally read this in three sittings i just could not put it down it talks about how to navigate your career dating education you name it and it's such an inspiring uplifting book i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it i will be potentially bringing a review out of this book either on my channel later on this year or something that'll be coming up on my blog so stay tuned the next book i purchased um is the sherlock holmes collection by arthur conan doyle now i want to get into reading detective fiction i don't actually have any or own any detective fiction and the best way to do that was to go back to the master of all detectives of sherlock holmes himself this collection that i purchased on kindle has 66 stories 66 so i'm definitely going to be kept very busy reading the adventures of sherlock holmes and dr watson this is also what inspired my next purchase which is the agatha christie collection and this has 17 stories in this collection and this these stories are the adventures of her her one of her famous detectives hercule poirot and, and i'm really excited to get into both of these this next purchase is from a Japanese author, Shion Miura, and the book is called Kazigatsuyo Kufuriteru, which means Run with the Wind. This book's been adapted into an anime, and that's when it first came to my attention. However, 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 <laughs> I cannot find an English translation of this book anywhere. So I wanted to purchase this, however, it doesn't exist in English. I would pay good money to find the English translation and to have it shipped over to the UK. I did pick up Shion's next novel called The Great Passage. Now, this story, the tagline uh, that I picked up on it that I really like the sound of uh, was A life dedicated to a passion is a life well lived. It was described as a story of love, friendship and human connection, something I 100% will be enjoying. The next book I purchased was Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asiman. It's a romance that blossoms between a teenage boy and a male summer guest at his family's mansion. This will be the first ever mm romance novel that i've ever read so i'm really excited to get into it the next book i purchased was tell me your secret by dorothy coomson enough said this has been described as an emotional thriller um dorothy is an exceptional writer i'm a huge dorothy coomson stan i would inhale anything with her name on it the next book i purchased and i think i purely bought this purely because of the title that attracted me to the book a story by um kristen bailey called has anyone seen my sex life and the tagline it's normal for your washing machine to get more action than you and <laughs> um, this has been described as a comedy and i do definitely need more comedy books on my shelf and the only thing i kind of know about this book so far or like what i read from the blurb is that you we meet the mortons mr and mrs morton and they have a domesticated life jobs kids they clearly have not been having enough time to get jiggy with it so 
Um, one day, Mrs. Morton comes downstairs and she finds something belonging to her husband which could potentially make or break their relationship. And I'm already all over this. Now the next two books are purchased together on Kindle and they are The Bromance Club and Undercover Bromance by Lysa K. Adams. I was all over this when I found out what the general plot of the stories were. I mean, a book club made up of Nashville's alpha male who read romance novels and who used the inspiration from those romance novels to help out their other bros. Genius! The next book I purchased is by another Japanese author and she goes by the name of Hiromi Kawakami and it's called Strange Weather in Tokyo. Now this was described as a tale of modern Japan and old-fashioned romance and I was already hooked from that tagline. Luckily this is also translated, thank god. Now between end of April, May, I went through this weird period of time where I was literally just purging. When I mean purging I was just like buying everything and anything everything on amazon their kindle store is 99p 99p and i went through this weird thought process in my head where i need i need more books i need more psychological thriller i need i want to read more psychological thriller. there was no reason or rhyme just that oh i need to buy this book the next list of books are all the books i bought during that purge <laughs> Never purchasing another psychological thriller again. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? So the next couple of books um, were I calmed down and I went back to purchasing some light-hearted, some comedy, and that goes on to the next one, which is Reasons to Be Cheerful by uh, Nina Sub. This was described as a comic fiction, which again I want to get back into more comedy reading, uh, some more lighter fiction nothing too angsty so wanted to give it a go next one i've heard good things about this one is mixtape by jane sanderson and talks about the one that got away and i'm a sucker for those sort of romantic love stories another purchase ebook purchase um was the light between oceans by ml steadman this is family related um story and it involves um, the moral dilemma that a lighthouse keeper and his wife face when a child washes up upon their island in a boat. And I've heard good things about this and I can't wait to read it too. Last ebook purchase in this list, and definitely not least, is A Ruin of Shadows, A Tale of Assassin's Betrayal and Dijin by L.D. Lewis. This already sounds incredibly interesting. A general going rogue, having to bring down an empire, assassins, something that definitely sounds intriguing and I can't wait to get into. Now those are all my ebook Kindle purchases um, so far and um, I don't think I've made a lot of physical purchases. Oh, oh, no that's a lie. <laughs> oh, that's a lie. So the first book I bought was, the first physical book I purchased was The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenas. Um, the only thing I know so far about this book is that, oh firstly, the cover is gorgeous. Um, I didn't think, when I when I ordered it online, I didn't think it would come like this. The You can't see on camera, but the title almost feels like it's woven in, like with thread. Uh, so it's beautiful. Um, all I know about this is about four scientists, four women scientists, time travel, a murder. Sounds right up my street. The next book I purchased was by Philip Pullman, His Dark Materials, and I bought the whole trilogy. So I remember reading Northern Lights when I was younger, a long time ago, I can't remember, but I don't recall ever reading the other two books, so I got all three novels in one. The next book I purchased was Love From A To Z by S.K. Ali. Um, I don't know much about this book yet, but it looks interesting and I can't wait to get into it. The next books I purchased is Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. I accidentally actually, I accidentally purchased Black Girls Must Die Exhausted and Baby Makes Two first. And then I just bought, I do follow Jane Allen on Instagram, writing workshops on her Insta Live, so definitely check her out. And I can't wait to read these because I don't know, I don't know much about the stories. And now that I have both of them, I'll be diving in. Okay, we're nearing the end <laughs> of the book haul. The final books well the book sets that i have bought for the spring season um i've got down here so the first one is i bought the whole collection of uh, percy jackson by rick ryden i've got this and this is heavier oh i have bought the whole artemis fowl collection also 
lovely and that was it thank you so much for watching my spring 2020 book haul video if you did like this video please do leave me a thumbs up and if it is your first time here don't forget to subscribe i won't necessarily be doing reviews of each and every one of the books on in the book haul list um, they will be coming up in future top five series videos book tag videos and i will be talking about them more over at my vlog however if there were particular books that you were interested in hearing my review on please do let me know in the comments below and i'll be bringing those reviews to you in the future thanks again and i'll see you next time